welcome to Fresh Food Therapy. And today, we're going to be making a continental style breakfast that you can set up in your home so that you always are ready to have a breakfast before you leave the house. Um, realistically speaking, uh, there are people that don't like mornings. I am unfortunately one of those few people that is a morning person. So when the, the sun comes up, I'm raring to go and I love breakfast. But there's no reason why if you have a groggy start to your day uh, that you can't enjoy having breakfast and having it all laid out to really start your day on a full tank. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you how to set up in the smallest amount of space a continental style breakfast for yourself or for your family. You, it's flexible so you can actually serve as many people as you like very rapidly uh, with very little mess and very little waste. Ready? Now I know there's a few of you out there that are completely cooking phobic. Don't worry, I understand that you might not be able to even boil water, but today we're going to teach you how to boil water and then we're gonna make some hard boiled eggs. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil water and we're gonna make hard boiled eggs. This is a pan. You will notice there are no tricks involved. It's just a pan. We're gonna fill it with water from the faucet. So far, we're very safe. There's no risk at this point. If you want to boil water, you just have to apply heat. Now. To make hard boiled eggs, you have to put them in while the water is cold. If you put them in while it's hot, they will explode and you will end up with a bunch of egg rolling around in your pan. So we're going to put the eggs into the water before. Now there are several schools of thought on how to make hard boiled eggs. To be completely honest with you, some people say put salt, some people say put vinegar, some people uh, suggest uh, pickle juice, there's a bunch of, of different schools of thought. My school of thought is there's water and there's eggs. Put the eggs into the water, turn the heat on. You'll be fine without salt or without, without uh, vinegar or pickle juice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the, the burner on high and we're going to allow it to come to a rolling boil. Literally, um, it should take maybe about four to seven minutes to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, that's where the timer starts. The rule of thumb for most places is from the time that it hits a rolling boil, 10 minutes and the, and the eggs should be cooked all the way through to hard boil perfectly. But you know what? 10 is for other people. Ours go to 11. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna give it 11 minutes once it comes to a rolling boil. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to take it off of the heat and we're going to then pour out the water and start, lay, start putting cold water in to cool the eggs and to stop the cooking process. Literally, it's that simple. And uh, in just a few minutes when we get to the boiling part, um, I'll start the timer and then we will show you how easy it is to peel these eggs and what a perfect hard boiled egg they are after 11 minutes at boiling. So the water has just come to a rolling boil. So from this point on, we're gonna let it cook just the way it is for 11 minutes. And then once we have it cooked to the point that it needs to be done, we'll take it off the heat, we'll dump out the hot water and we'll cover it with cold water to stop the, to halt the cooking process and to let the eggs cool a little bit before we go to serve or to uh, shell them for another recipe. So we are now at the 11 minute mark, so we're gonna cut the heat and we're going to dump the hot water. Now 
and begin to pour in cold water to cool the eggs and to halt the cooking process. Okay, so the question is, are they hard boiled done? Are they hard boiled correctly? So we'll peel real quick and it should come right out. See how clean it peels off without leaving any extra shell. Beautifully hard boiled egg. And then you can see it's steaming, but it's still cool to the touch. What you're looking at is a hard boiled egg that's cooked perfectly all the way through. Now that we've hard boiled the eggs, we actually can lay out the entire breakfast. The only real thing that needs to be refrigerated for this is the butter and the, the cream cheese and the yogurt. Everything else can be left out and is shelf stable. And what you have for your pleasure is some wonderful coffee. We have hot boiled water ready to go for cocoa or for hot cereal. We have Quaker Oats hot cereal packets for instant oatmeal. And we have some Nestle uh, hot cocoa packets in case you need it for the day. Literally, when a day is started, you gotta have something that sticks to your ribs. Oatmeal is a great way to get some fiber in and a little bit of something that will burn slow. And sometimes you need that little extra push, a little something of a treat, maybe not the healthiest, but definitely something that's gonna put a smile on your face. A hot cup of cocoa in the morning is definitely a, a, a boon to everybody. Um, we have Activia yogurt individual servings uh, filled with probiotics that are uh, fantastic to get everything moving. And uh, in the front down, we have fresh fruit. For fresh fruit, there's nothing that says that you can't have a half piece of fruit. If you're in the mood, a uh, little bit of uh, lemon juice sprinkled over the edge of an apple will keep it from turning brown. Uh, you can put a little plastic over the edge of a banana to have a half banana. and. If this isn't to your liking, you can completely personalize it to what you like. There's nothing that says that you can't have uh, cold cereal and milk available or that you can't make a fried egg sandwich to go along with your breakfast. This is just a tool to make sure that you're getting fueled up for the day and that you're ready to go and kind of feel like you've got everything that you need uh, to have an enjoyable breakfast. Now in the center is our bagels and we have about uh, three different varieties. We've got blueberry, we've got uh, cinnamon raisin, and we've got onion uh, with butter and with cream cheese. If you are a small family or a single person, when you buy your bagels, there is nothing that says that you can't take them out, put two of each kind in a container, and then freeze uh, two packages so that they stay fresh for you. Only taking out that what you need for the few days that you're going through. Yesterday I was watching TV and I watched on the television as there was a person describing a brand new tool or a, uh, a fitness device that is designed to work your jaw muscle. It is looking kind of like a ball gag um, with a strap to hold it in your mouth so that you can actually spend 15 to 20 minutes each day working on tightening up your jaw and, uh, and, and working the muscles in your jaw. I thought to myself, you know, $30, I should go and spend that. If there was only a way, if there was something out there in existence that would strengthen my jaw and do something else for me that I could do each and every day. Nah, we'll buy the equipment. Bagels. I don't know about you, but bagels are like my favorite thing in the morning and you can do about two before your jaw actually locks up. So buy a piece of equipment if you like, uh, or have a bagel. Do it three times a week. Think of it as like uh, T 
teaser to go to the gym for your jaw. Now, the story behind this whole entourage is, is kind of humorous. I was studying at San Diego State University and we had a student veteran organization. And the university gave us a, a fraternity house that had been vacated to use for the veterans. We were asking ourselves what we could do to help the veterans out. And what we found was that veterans, much like every other citizen in the country, come from all different backgrounds, have all different needs and different lifestyles and have almost nothing in common. But because they were there at San Diego State University studying and because they were probably working full time and maybe having a family, we decided that the best way to support them was to make sure that there was a complimentary breakfast that was available. And we did the setup just as you see here. And the opportunity to come in and have free breakfast and to actually spend some time talking to each other was a huge boon. And we found out that it really only cost about $1.78 per person for a person to come through the line and grab what they would like for breakfast. You don't know when you wake up in the morning what you're in the mood for. And some days are gonna be different than others. Some, sometimes you're gonna be hungry for something with a, a great deal of protein. Sometimes you're gonna be thirsty. Sometimes you, you're kind of peckyish and you just want a little bit of this and a little bit of that. This setup you can do in your home and have it out and ready to go in about 10 minutes. And most of the things will not go bad. So if there's no waste and it's only costing you $1.78 every morning for breakfast, save a little bit of money and spend more time with the people that you live with and the people that you care about having breakfast before you start your day. Thank you very much for once again watching Fresh Food Therapy. We hope you enjoyed the show and we hope that this is something that'll save you a little bit of money and get you fueled to really take on the day.